Hey travelers, it's 2018! So now that it is 2018 and we have officially finished one year of vlogging, which is crazy when Very you're on crazy. YouTube. One year on YouTube. It's been a crazy year. It's been yeah, happy new awesome. year. Yeah, happy new year. I hope you had a great new year. What are some <laughs> of your resolutions? One of my resolutions is to keep making videos. I'm wow. About you. That's a good resolution. <laughs> How many countries did we visit last year? We went year? to Taiwan. We went to Malaysia, Singapore. And we traveled all over Japan. We went north to south, east to west. Mm -hmm. Can't forget Thailand either. And we'll technically be in Thailand while this video is posted, but you won't see content until right. 2018. So. But we did go to Thailand in yes. 2017. You have to trust us. We visited so many awesome places, ate so much good food, mm. and we were able to share it with all of you, which yeah. is pretty awesome. Yeah, it's just crazy to think that, that this is even possible and that mm -hmm. all of you guys subscribe to our channel and you guys are watching and, and actively being involved and stuff. It's just really, really cool. And so we want to say a huge thank you to all you guys and for sharing and for liking and commenting. That's just, mm -hmm. it really makes our day. Just having those, um, like this community and the relationships that we've formed, it's really been- it's really cool. Yeah, it's <laughs> really cool and it really helps us stay motivated and yeah. want to keep making videos. Originally, we started this whole thing because we wanted to make like a travel website. Um, Which we do have, yeah. realworldtravelers.com. Check it out if you haven't been there. It's been kind of difficult balancing working full time and making videos and writing yeah. um, because I do a lot of like research and a lot goes into the blog posts and a lot goes into the videos. Yeah, how long would you say you spend on average making a, a typical video? Um, well one of these videos, like sit down, it takes not very long, maybe like 45 minutes to an hour, but our travel videos, because if you've watched any of our travel vlogs, you know they're usually pretty long. Yeah, full um, day's worth of content you're condensing down. Yeah, I usually do a lot, so that usually takes me like a day or two to like get it all together because I really only have time to edit at night after I finish working, which is usually past 7 p.m. and then on my lunch break, so I'm yeah. kind of limited on time. Which is why we're only putting out like two videos a week. That is sometimes even like a stretch. Yeah. We were even thinking about how last year, how how much different Kelly and I's life has changed, but more, more so you. Mm. Like this time last year, leading up to our trip to Taiwan, we just preparing for our trip, you worked and we came home, we watched YouTube or whatever, just yeah. ate dinner. But now, a year later, how much time Kelly spends putting into the videos, like literally she comes home and she works on a, vi on a video almost every night, I would say. Or if she's not or working a on a video, post. she's working on a blog post, or the website, or editing pictures, or doing something. Well, I feel like I've kind of taken on like a part-time job, like one that I yeah. want to do. <laughs> it's just extra work, but it's fun work, which makes it worth it. Yeah, so I mean, it started off with a travel website and then we thought like, oh, why don't we like make some travel videos more like, I don't know, we thought maybe like we could be Rick Steves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Rick Steves. Until next time, keep on traveling. Adio. <laughs> um, so to supplement our blog posts, we would make these travel videos. We got to Taiwan and we started recording and then we realized we're not, we're very, good not very good at that. So we are like, well, why don't we just try vlogging and see where that takes us. And I started editing them and I was like, wow, this is really cool. One year later, we're still doing it. We can look back on all of our adventures. We've recorded it all and it's just a really awesome way to preserve our memories and our travels. If you've ever wondered what real world travelers means and why we chose that name, it's because not that we're showing you the real world, mm -hmm. but that we're real people. We are real people working and we're trying to, to see as much as we can on the limited time that we have. So it's not that we're showing you like the non-touristy sites per se, because we go to a lot of touristy sites if you've watched our videos yeah, <laughs> and you know, but we're just trying to show you more of like the perspective of travel from real people. You see a lot of people out there that have made travel their full-time job, right. but that's not really realistic for a lot of people. So, yeah. I mean, we travel a lot, but we also work full-time jobs. It's possible, and we want to share that with the rest of the world. Yeah.
Thank you for watching, liking, subscribing. We hope that you'll like this video. Maybe yeah. you can give it a thumbs up or subscribe. We make new videos every Tuesday and Friday and we have again so much in store for 2018. If I showed you our schedule for how much travel that we want to do, you wouldn't again, believe it. You'd be like, what the heck? <laughs> Maybe not, I don't know. It'd be, I mean, it's a lot. We're doing a lot. Yeah. We can't really say too much because it's, it's top you know, secret. It's top secret, confidential. Not really. We'll just share that later. Please like this video. Please share with your friends and subscribe if you haven't already. We will see you guys next time. Bye.